Contrast. What is contrast, right? Our friend Google states that contrast refers to the arrangement of opposite elements and effects. For example, light and dark colors, smooth and rough textures, large and small shapes, etc., etc. Contrast can be used to create variety, visual interest, and drama in an artwork. What is contrast? TLDR, opposites. Yes, contrast, super, super effective, you know, to add emphasis. Contrast is great for showing areas where you want viewers' eyes to lead to. But I also mentioned that contrast is very heavily linked to the elements of art. So let's talk about contrast with color and value. Color and value are very heavily linked elements. Value is like how light and dark something is. Color is color. <laughs> so they're very, very highly linked to each other. So it only makes sense that contrast is also very highly linked to those two. Contrast with color and value is using opposing colors and values to add emphasis. So an emphasis is just kind of like where your eyes are supposed to go, you know, how you're supposed to lead your eyes into somewhere, right? That's your emphasis. Contrast relates to the color palette, right? So then that's often complementary. And complementary colors are very, very contrasty. But, you know, it doesn't have to be a complementary palette in order to be contrasted, right? That's the best one you can use, but not necessary. My example for color is Knives by Andy Warhol. So the contrast in this, kind of obvious, right? It uses yellow and black, which are like, from what I've heard, are the easiest to read contrasted colors. Um, if you've ever watched anime, you notice how most of the time the subtitles are either yellow or white with a black outline? That's because yellow is a very standouty color. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon. Next one is contrast with shape, form, and line. Why is line here? Often, Line is used in tandem, the shape and form, in the form of line art. So it's usually used to emphasize the form. Often, you know, we use these super bold, dark line art to emphasize our main portions, right? Our main forms, so our eyes go to it first. Right, sometimes our shape and form and line are linked to detail, right? Sometimes we have super, super detailed line work in one area and then not detailed line work in another area, right? Depending on whichever is less, right? So say if we have a super detailed piece and then a couple of very non-detailed figures, those non-detailed figures are gonna stick out. Same with shapes and forms, right? If we have a lot of tiny, tall, kind of tiny, intricate forms and shapes around a very simple thing, then that simple thing is gonna stick out. Contrast isn't necessarily always with your elements and principles, but it's easier to explain that way. It's just as long as it's opposite. More often than not, your contrast with your shape and form and line will be linked to your size and your subject. If you have like one giant thing and then a bunch of little things, uh, the big giant thing are the most contrasty, the most emphasized. Again, vice versa. If something is very small, surrounded by very big things, the very small thing is going to be sticking out. And sometimes it's subject matter, right? If you have a bunch of, let's say you got like a forest, a lot of trees, a lot of foliage, and then you have a lamppost, that lamppost is going to stick out, right? A very man-made form versus a very organic forms around it. Those are two very contrasting things. You could also link it to 3D forms and 2D forms. Say you have a lot of 3D forms around and then you have a couple 2D shapes, you know, the 2D shapes are going to stick out, and then vice versa. Same deal. But all of this can be linked to juxtaposition, especially when it comes to subject matter. If you don't know what juxtaposition is, juxtaposition is when you put two opposing things next to each other to kind of, um, you know, symbolize something or to kind of bring attention to a subject that you want to talk about. But usually juxtaposition is meant to kind of create a point. Right, so my little example for shape and form is this piece, right? Yes, Stand Up Here by Hikari Shimoda, right? And this piece is very, very contrasty. It doesn't seem very contrasty because there's so many colors around here, right? But your eyes automatically go to this figure in the middle. Couple of reasons why. There's a reason, number one is that it's directly in the middle, right? Your eyes are gonna go there first, but second of all, look at how dark and look at how sharp and clean and thick these lines are, right? It automatically kind of draws your eyes to it the main figure in the center, right? It's a very simple looking character, but the background, super high detail. Those are two very, very contrasty things. Contrast and texture. So while contrast with shape, form, and line is very lightly related, high detail versus low detail is very, very heavily related with texture. Say if you had a couple of rocks in the center of a piece and then it was surrounded by like fur, or like soft seaweed or something, that's very, very contrasty in terms of texture. This is the man with a golden helmet painted by Rembrandt in 1650. So if you kind of zoom in on here, all of these little areas are all done with impasto. If you were to touch it, you would feel all the bumpy textures, right? But the rest of the piece is very, very thin paint, right? So you won't, it'll be all smooth kind of around here, right? But here, very textury, right? So you have your bumpy texture versus your very smooth texture. 
So with contrast and space, most of the time is how objects are placed and how much negative space is between each thing. If you have your main subject in focus and then all of your negative space is all blurred, that's a very easy way to add contrast and a very easy way to make something stand out. All right, so if you've got a big honking elephant with a bunch of tiny birds surrounding it, right? It's taking up more space than those birds are and you'll be able to see it a little bit more. And then if you had a big bunch of big honking elephants and the one tiny little bird, you'll kind of look at the bird first, right? Because you'll kind of see that tiny little bit of space where everything else is kind of large. And our last little example that I will talk about. What's fun about this game is that it really uses, you're only ever controlling one person, but everyone looks exactly the same. So what they do is they use space to make it known who you're playing as, right? Every single person in the screenshot here looks exactly the same, right? But they use space to kind of show you who the main person is. So high contrast versus low contrast. So high contrast is when things are very, very opposite to each other. Like low contrast is when things are fairly similar. So most of the time, low contrast, you want to avoid it, right? And high contrast is what you want if you want to have like a main subject, but use them wisely because sometimes you can use low contrast very, very well. So we are going to be drawing a piece that kind of contrasts by using color. So because we are going to be using color, we're going to be focusing mostly on light and contrasting colors. So I'm gonna make sure that I have enough emphasis on the torch. Where is he though? Maybe we'll have him in like a cave. So before I do any kind of lighting, flats are very important, right? You fill in your flats first and then you can get to the lighting. That's what's lovely about digital is you can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this orange to kind of brighten this whole thing up. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Join our art community with the links down below. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon for working files, behind the scenes posts, and discounts on our class offerings. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.